everyone? Everyone good? good. Yes. Yeah, and it's yeah, a lovely yeah. sunny day here. I don't know if it is with you, but I've got really beautiful sunshine here. Well, I don't know because I've got two shows today and I'll be in a dressing room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dark, so I'm not even talking to you. Oh, it's quite yes. warm. But on Monday, we're going to find out all about Harriet's show. I'm so excited. We are. Anyway, we have a special guest today, don't we, Sherry? We do. And this is really, um, for me, this, because it's so close to my heart, because Fallon Sherrick is a champion ladies darts player. And Ooh. you don't hear that very often. And nope. she, I mean, everybody in the business knows who she is now and she's only 26. Wow. What about that? <laughs> wow. So Iconic. Welcome to Fallon. Yeah. Hi. 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 Welcome to our nest, Fallon. <laughs> How are you, Fallon? Uh, I'm very good, thank you. Good, good. Well, I, I mean, I, I love darts. I'm a bit, I've always played darts and I love it. I don't play it so much now, but I love it. And you're called the Queen of the Palace. So uh, we feel <laughs> we could curtsy to you, Queen, yeah. Queen <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't I, think you need to curtsy or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to say to you is because I know the darts world and it's a totally male dominated world and always has been. So for you to get where you've got, was it i mean and you're only 26 was it a struggle did you have to get through those hoops um it wasn't really like that much of a struggle or anything like that because we've like darts we've always had like a system for like the women the youth and all of that like we've always had like something for the women just obviously you've never really seen it on the like tv yeah. or anything like that i mean the only time you saw it was at like the bdo world champs um, but we've always kind of been like pushing for like more opportunities, but our level of game wasn't like at the standard where we could compete against the men. Um, but then over the years, uh, we our level was just like improved and stuff like that. So that's why now we've got all the opportunities and stuff like that. But I mean, it, I mean, it's just been like a fair game to be fair. I mean, I do get it because our standard wasn't like um, as good, if that made sense. Until yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, but 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 you didn't you beat Ted Evans? Didn't you? Or haven't you been the first woman to beat a male darts player? So overall, like in the whole years and stuff like that, there has been other women that beat the men. But um, I was the first one to do it at the PDC World Championship yeah. uh, <laughs> against right. uh, against Ted Evans. But he was such a gentleman in his defeat and stuff like that, and. I get on really well with Ted and it was good. Just, it was just unlucky with the draw because I know Ted and I was like, oh no. <laughs> wow. It's so amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a tough old world though, isn't it, Fallon? That darts world and especially where, where you are now up there. Um, it, well, obviously you've got to keep like practicing and stuff like that. So that's yeah. quite tough and you've got to keep your concentration and I mean, you've got to just keep like persistency if that made sense um i think yeah. that's the word i don't really know um <laughs> it, is, it is quite difficult because obviously there's so much into it it's not just throwing a dart at board there's concentration no. it's all part of the mind and everything like that and somebody Brilliant. said actually i was listening to an interview yesterday fallon i don't know if you agree with this but somebody was saying it was a male dart player and he's saying as soon as that dart leaves your hand you've got to know where it's going to land is that true um to be fair i personally as soon as it leaves my hand i kind of know where it's going because i'm like okay i'm looking where it's yeah. going i've aimed where it's going so if it goes anywhere else there's a problem um, yeah. but, um sometimes like, when you release it you can tell it's not going to go where you're going that's but, what i mean um, yeah Mm. yeah yeah it's it's all about like the release and stuff like that and like if you have like a little bit of like a um snatch or something like that that's when it goes oh okay we'll go into the big 18 or something um but i'll yeah. just go for 20. yeah yeah exactly sherry actually loves sherry loves throwing darts don't you sherry? i was just gonna say can I, <laughs> sherry has some some darts rules which i don't know if you'll understand sherry you're quite competitive again i don't know if you know this Fallon, but she's quite competitive when you don't do well, Sherry. What do you do with your darts? Well, I throw them at the person. So that <laughs> I'm not sure if that works, Fallon, in, in your arena. <laughs> no, we definitely don't have people throwing darts at people. No. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> you could probably hurt if I wasn't doing that. Fallon, I wanted to ask you, darling, when you started, what was it? When, when did you first pick up darts? When did you know you had that talent, that eye, that ability to do what you do? What, how old were you? How did it start? Um, so I actually started playing at like 17, but um, when oh. I was 16, I kept kind of throwing like with my sister and all that. Um, and I literally, I started to play youth in like Super League and stuff like that. But I started to play like the youth games and that. And then I got to yeah. England on my first season of doing it. So I was like, then I started to think that I was actually quite good at it. And I was like, okay, did, Yes, so did you realise your talent? Did you, that, mo that sort of light bulb moment when you thought, oh my God, I really um, am good at this. What was that? Not, not, not a hundred percent then. Um, yeah. It was more the later on in my career, the more opportunities I got when I, especially when I got to like the world championship for the women, the final. Yeah, that, that's that a good when, clue. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. when I started believe, The world championship, like, yeah, that thing. No, yeah. yeah. Did you say you had a sister? Yeah. And yeah, does she play? Yeah, uh, yeah, she plays. Uh, she's actually quite good as well. Like she beats me a few times. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to play you anymore. <laughs> Was the whole family behind you? Are they all dart fans as well? Yeah, so my mum and my dad have always played like darts, so I kind of ah. always been around it. That's what I wondered as a stuff. child. Had yeah. you seen um, them? Yeah. Yeah, so I've always been around it and stuff like that. And yeah, granted, I didn't pick up a dart till like later on in life, but I, I'm quite happy how it's done. But I think it kind of helped because... I used to do like tennis as well when I was little, so maybe the hand-eye coordination kind yes. of helped with that. Yeah. Of course, that's of right. Course. Yes, I, I love, I love the way you say later on in life, and you're only twenty-six. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> so like, most people start off like fourteen or thirteen yeah. and stuff like that, and there are more younger players coming in now, a lot younger age. So I thought I was quite a late person coming into the youth system because I only had like one or two years at youth. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Tell me how, I mean, during lockdown, it must have been awful. You've got a little boy, haven't you? Yeah, um, mm. I've got a little boy. He's uh, six. Um, yeah, no, that was very difficult um, because mm. I'm trying to occupy him and play yeah. him online streaming and I can see him coming down the stairs and he's having a dance behind me or like oh. streaming <laughs> and then the dog starts barking and... I'm thinking, oh my God, like all this is happening on like streaming and there's nothing I can do about it. And then it kind of become like a thing that like, people were like, oh, is Rory going to show up or is the dog going to show up? And everyone was like watching and like, yeah, yeah, it's going to show up. And they were just laughing. And so it was like more of like, oh, you are like playing at home. It is real. Uh, you have a family and it's like a normal to everyone else that's watching at home. Yeah. So how do you play online well, darts? So I have two cameras that I like hook up and stuff. Uh, one's facing the board and one's facing me as I'm throwing. I have a oh. computer which I connect it all up. Um, I have a score like system on the computer and then I can play against other people and all that. And I was playing Amazing. Like, the most lively. That's incredible. So I was playing other men and all that all through lockdown. Yeah. Wow. Like, well, stuff. Everything. That's fantastic. You know, Fallon, I have to say, I feel I've got a kind of affinity with you because I know your mum and dad um, must have really encouraged you. And my grandfather was a boxer and he taught me how to box when I was little. And then I ended up being in a production in the West End wrestling and I was taught by Brian Maxine, who was the middleweight champion. And it was at that time, it was really totally male dominated. <laughs> And it was like, I know, so I think it's amazing that you've actually achieved what you've achieved and, you know, and really beaten the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm quite happy with all the achievement and stuff like that, because I, I think like the whole perception with darts is it is people see it as a male sport. And I'm quite happy yeah. that I've now opened it up and you can actually see that it is a women's sport as well. We do yeah. play. And there's also like youth players that play. It's not just the men you see on the TV. It is a wide yeah. range of people as well. So I'm yeah. quite happy that I've opened up the world so they can see yeah. that. Is your mum really good? 
she used to be really good like she used to only play like county level and stuff like that but she used to be really good my dad used to be really good but obviously right. um things change over time and stuff so they don't really they don't play anymore um yeah but I, I still don't want to play my mom and dad though i'm like no i, I, <laughs> yeah. I would just be on the fence with that <laughs> because yeah. the whole image of darts is is big to me it's big fat men in a pub drinking beer, <laughs> drinking beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very no, diminutive attractive young woman yeah you know it's it's a Long, you're, you're so different you're so different and so inspirational to all of our viewers because we love inspiring people we love people that, that you know that take things to the boundary that do something different and and you know to have this as a career i mean i mean this might sound a stupid question but is it is, can you make quite a lot of money in darts yeah um yeah. with like the pdc and stuff like that they open up like a lot of opportunities so you can actually make a living out of darts you can make a lot of money from darts um but obviously you just got to put the effort in and be very like determined in what you want to do and if you if you lose a few games you can't get like disheartened or anything like that you just got to keep progressing and the more you like push yourself and stuff the more you're going to be at the high end where you're going to be able to make a living and stuff i mean look at michael van gogh and i mean he is minted just by playing something that he loves <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So, so do you make the money in competitions how is it possible to make money out of this um so it is normally like competitions and stuff like that where you go and you play and then you can win like a lump sum of money um but most of it as well is on the exhibition circuit where you go and you um play people from the audience and play other professional players and people pay and they watch and then it, it's just stuff like that um it's just all little yeah. bits like exhibitions competitions just all sorts so it's a so, range so now that stuff. so now that lockdown right. is, is i mean during lockdown obviously you couldn't do any of this so so you you so now is, is this starting to come back are you able to do some things now yeah so definitely since lockdown's like finished in that um things are slowly coming back into it i mean i've got a competition in austria in a few weeks uh which is like a tv event so i'm well tough with that um my exhibitions on the other hand i'm not really sure what's happening with that because i had loads oh, yeah. booked up and obviously they've all just been pushed back uh there's still competitions that are getting cancelled uh and everything's just been pushed back till like 2021 um so i think this year is going to be like really hard darts wise but i think there's going to be like some way they're going to get around it or sound whether there be audiences or no audiences i think they'll still be able to play the darts yeah excellent so, uh, fallon talking about minted i did a charity darts um session <laughs> only for fun with eric yeah. bristow oh wow now eric bristow was the was minted <laughs> he was i mean yeah. he was when he was at the top of his game you couldn't i don't suppose you couldn't get much bigger than eric bristow could you i mean everyone knows who eric bristow is i mean he's like one of the icons in darts like he's yeah. like one of the biggest names there is and it's just like unfortunate that he's not here anymore no but i mean yeah everyone knows him and like bobby george and like phil taylor and oh like, bobby just, george yeah, yeah. All, all, all of them people and stuff like that and like i feel really privileged because i get to like play Phil Taylor and stuff like that and Bobby George and all that. I just got, yeah. that I didn't get an opportunity to play like Eric Bristow though. No, of course not, no. And he was great fun and we had a really good time. I mean, obviously I couldn't play, but it was really, <laughs> it was, it was really, you know, it was amazing to watch that. You know, here's the way he used to hold his, had that way, didn't he, of holding his darts. He had a funny way with him and I just loved yeah, I it. I think I'm like similar because I have like a little pinky. Do you, do like, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, po a very, like, very posh way of throwing a dart, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like a cup of tea, isn't it? Like English yeah, it is. Is tea. Well, you're like... queen of the darts, so, you know, queen That's of right. is the palace. So did you say you had a royal wave you've been practising? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was just joking around. I was like, oh yeah, um, you don't have to curtsy or anything like that. I've just been practicing my royal way. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fallon, Sherry, you did you throw a dart at Eric Bristow, darling? Did you actually throw a no, dart? No, you're at joking. If you'd have known oh. Eric Bristow, you wouldn't have <laughs> Too scared. So Fallon, Too you've scared. Been a, you've, been a, you've been a really fantastic guest. Really fantastic, and I'm sure we you will wish you love. Love. Thank a you. lot, a lot of our lovely ladies that are watching this, and men as well. You see, we're as good as the <laughs> blokes, aren't we? Absolutely. And tell us when your um, exhibitions come back, and we'll put them on our website. Oh, yeah, yeah. please yeah, do. 100%. Follow you. Um, yeah. 
yeah, I we mean, will you find you're welcome to come to them as well. I mean, oh, we'll I mean, be there. Yeah, we'd love to. Oh, I'd love that. that Not Sherry, we have, to be, we have to corner Sherry off with the dart. We, <laughs> could, we, could have, we could have a dart board in our Wonder Birds nest. Yeah, yeah with Sherry in there, we can't. Sherry, Eric, <laughs> the dart. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks no worries. Thank good you luck for with everything. Me. Thank you. Bye, You're Enjoy. an inspiration, Fallon, a total inspiration. Hi. What a, oh. an amazingly humble, lovely this is girl. fabulous. Absolutely oh. fabulous. To be at the forefront of what she's doing now. I know. I know. It's she doesn't even know it, does she? When 26 and a young mum. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. She's done everything. I love the way she said, you know, start, we know. Now that I was an, old, an older one yeah. to start. Older, yes. Well, when, I be, when I'm as old as 26, I'll let you know how I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Amazing. So, We've got quite a way yeah, to go, though, Debbie. Yes, yeah, so we have. So we have got Bob Barrett coming in tomorrow to cook for us. Yeah. Yes. Sunday, Sunday brunch. Um, we and have. so we'll, we'll see everybody then. I didn't realise up until now, Sherry, that we've got the same colours on again. It's always That's one blue. of us. Ooh. We're in blues. Yes. We Harriet's didn't get the memo, Dee. Coordination. So, Harriet's got her lovely red on, and Dee is in white like a little angel. Ah. Oh. As yes. always, I wouldn't say that. It's a lovely Saturday, and have a, uh, yes, and we'll see you tomorrow. Every day, and don't forget your April. Yes. Wednesday, your Thursday, April Friday, 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 Saturday, Sunday. What's going April. on? Oh, oh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> don't forget your aprons. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, I haven't got one actually. I'll have a look. Oh. All right. Oh, well, check your purse. Okay. Bye, <laughs> Bye darlings. Bye. Bye. Bye.